Welcome to Dark Knight Films Reviews and another Hammer Productions Night. Tonight I will be reviewing Twins of Evil, released in 1971. Twins of Evil stars Peter Cushing, Kathleen Byron, Mary Collinson, Madeline Collinson, Damian Thomas, David Warbeck, Dennis Price, Katia Wyeth, Roy Stewart, Isabel Black, Harvey Hall, and Alex Scott. Twins of Evil was directed by John Ho. This is another one that was written by screenwriter Tudor Gates in the Karnstein trilogy. This is the final chapter in the Karnstein trilogy, and uh, it's not as good as the previous two films, um, in my opinion. Um, Peter Cushing plays a character named Gustav Weil, and he is the most despicable. You, you hate this bastard at the beginning. He is basically capturing innocent women and burning them at the stake. All because they dressed sexy and screwing around with men, you know? I mean, I mean, this is a set in a different age, of course, you know. But it it still makes his character nothing that you really are rooting for. So that whenever he finally decides to team up with David Warbeck's Anton Hoffer, um, you're already against him because of what he's done before. So it's kind of hard to all of a sudden go, I'm going to be on your side now and root for you now. You know. So, um, yeah, this one, this one's kind of rough because of that. I mean, he gives a great performance, um, in the role because it's freaking Peter Cushing. The man is amazing, but, uh, he doesn't play him very likable at all. Um, Mary Collinson and Madeline Collinson, the, uh, former Playboy playmate, um, twins, are in this in the roles of Maria and Frida. And uh they're serviceable. They're they're okay, you know. Um you can tell they've never acted before that this was definitely one of their first uh um experiences in this doing this kind of thing that because they were mostly probably models before this. But um they're they're okay. Madeline Collins, who's playing Frida, um, I, I just didn't like her performance. She was playing it too over the top, playing her so villainous in there, and it, it, I didn't like it. Now, Mary Collins as Maria, she did really well. Um, she, you know, she's the more okay, likable sister in this. And uh, Damien Thomas as uh, Count Karnstein, it's just confusing with his character. Because if this was supposed to be set like it's a... Because at the beginning of this, he's not even a vampire. And gets turned by Markala, played by Katya Wyeth. And after that, then he's this evil character... But by the end, they bring him down and they kill him. So I was thinking that this film was like a prequel to Lust for a Vampire, and he was supposed to be the same Count Karnstein that we met in Lust for a Vampire. But he is killed at the very end of this, so this wasn't a prequel, apparently. So, it's, it just 
just confuses me what Tudor Gates was thinking when he wrote this one um, in there. Um, and then we have Harvey Hall um, <laughs> playing another character in this. Uh, this time he's playing Franz, and you know it's. I, I like him as an actor, but it's 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 so weird that they kept casting him in here, and um, all these different roles. You know, um, he's like alternating and playing completely different characters in each film. First film he's the butler, second film he's an inspector, and this one he's he's just Franz. You know, so it's like, ah, uh, uh, wow. Um, but same way with, uh, kind of the same way with Peter Cushing. Peter Cushing was in, um, the first film, The Vampire Lovers, and, um, and in this one, he's playing a completely different character. Completely different in, in a lot of res big, big time respects. I mean, near the end, he does start becoming more, um, heroic and trying to save the day. Um, but in Vampire Lovers, he was the total good guy from the get-go playing the general. Um... But, yeah, in this one, he's just, God, he's horrible. Um, in the first, like, hour of this film, basically. So, uh, uh, David Warbeck, as, as I mentioned earlier, um, as Anton, he, he's pretty good. Um, but he doesn't inter get introduced till later in the film. And um, by the time he does... You're so hated toward Peter Cushing and wanting him to be brought down that whenever he turns him to the good side <laughs> to go after Garnstein, you know. Uh, uh, but J uh, John Ho does a pretty good job of directing this thing. Um, and... Uh, it, it's, it is well directed, it is well put together, but it does have those issues that the um, vampire lovers had where um, they have stupid um, um, vampire elements such as um, Damien Thomas's um, Count Karnstein being turned into a vampire in, in, instantly after being bit by Marcala. Same way, whenever he bites it's Frida and turns her into a vampire, she's just instantly a vampire. But at least in this one, they did make it to where um, they don't have a reflection. So uh, that's a, sort of a plus and uh, an, an update over... Um, over the vampire lovers and everything, but um, yeah, his inconsistency with with uh, keeping things consistent um, was kind of off. I mean, if you're going to do a vampire trilogy of films, keep your mythologies consistent. But uh, not the best in this series. Um, so I will give uh, Twins of Evil from 1971. I will give this film a 8.1 out of 10. It's, it's not a bad film. It's not the worst film um, Hammer has ever done. But um, it's still, uh, it doesn't live up to the uh, other two films in the Kornstein series. And, which, in my opinion, um, Lust for a Vampire is the best of this trilogy. But what do you think? Do you agree with my review? Do you disagree? Let me know in the comments down below. And, as usual, please, if you like this video, do not forget to smash that like, share, and subscribe button, because it really does help this channel out a lot. All right. Well, I hope you will join me tomorrow for Action Movie Night. Hope to see you then. Thanks for watching.